Hold up. Oh my God. Hold up, I need to go outside. Oh, it looked better in my room. And I left the confines of my bedroom for this. <sighs> Oprah, why? Why is this happening to me? What did I do in my past life? because I haven't done a vlog in so long and I have so many things to talk to you guys about and there's a construction outside so I'm sorry if there's some annoying background noises but grab yourselves a snack I'm currently eating gummy worms because I deserve it um, but I do have two exciting things that I want to do and I don't know which one to start with okay let's just start with the one that's right in front of me which is the fifth season by NK Jemisin so I've been I woke up like at 9 16 that's very specific but yeah I woke up at 9 16 and I decided to start my day with reading sprints over on my discord server and we've just been, like right now it's almost 3 p.m. So we've been doing reading sprints for a very long time, of course. We've been having breaks. I did have to stop because I ran some errands to look for some exciting packages. And I also had a lunch break, so I haven't been reading nonstop. But I was reading the fifth season for these reading sprints. And I actually finished it and y'all don't, you don't understand the pain that I went through reading this, like it's so sad because this was actually a birthday gift. I got the whole box set. I have the 
the three books of this series or this trilogy and it hurts it physically hurts that i did not enjoy this because that means that i have the next two books in the series and I really don't think I'm going to be continuing it because this, I mean, if it weren't for the reading sprints that I did this morning, I just felt myself going into a very intense reading slump. And we don't want that kind of energy in this household. So when I finished this, oh my God, you don't understand how good it felt to finish this book. Um, I'm so glad it's over. I'm literally, I can, I feel like I can, I can finally breathe again. And I feel like that's so dramatic, but this book, I don't understand why so many people love it. Like if you go on Goodreads, everybody that I follow gave it 4.5 stars, five stars, amazing, incredible, spellbinding, page turner. It's not even giving what y'all said it was supposed to give. But if I hadn't like physically pushed myself and if I didn't have my Discord fellow simpers pushing me on, and supporting me through this book, I, I would have died reading this book. Like I would have been on my deathbed and I still wouldn't know how this book ended, but I finished it and that's what matters. So yay me. <laughs> two stars for you, baby. Yep, yeah, two stars. Let's move on. I don't want to spend more time of my short life talking about the fifth season. I'm just really disappointed because it was such a hyped fantasy book and I just don't see it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm blind. I don't know if I'm just missing something. I don't know if my mind is just not developed enough to understand why everybody loves it. That's the first thing that I wanted to talk about. The next thing is, hold up. Girly has packages. I think we're gonna start with this one because it's not for me, actually. I bought this from an Etsy store and it's a gift. A birthday gift for one of my closest friends. Okay. I'm just... <gasps> oh my god! It's exactly... It's exactly... I don't know why I'm filming it instead of showing it to you guys. Look at her. I don't know if you can appreciate it. <laughs> she is stunning. She is a clockwork angel necklace and my friend her birthday's coming up and she absolutely adores clockwork angel it's absolutely stunning yay so i'm really happy with that and i'm so excited to give it to her Can you all... <laughs> these aren't books by the way imagine having a whole that would be insane oh my god <laughs> okay wait this is a lot Literally, oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, box is empty. That was a lot, that was intense, um, but we're back. So, it's really hot. I don't know why I have a jumper on, but. <laughs> wow, it already smells so good. Oh my god, this is adorable, wait. Oh my god, this smells amazing. Okay, but look, oh my god. These, oh my god. I got this sloth candle, I love her. I also have this candle called Mystic Dreams. Oh my god, that's that's insane. That's actually insane. And then I got this body lotion called Daydreamer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. Okay, so these were sent to me by Charmed Aroma. You guys should definitely check them out because they have the cutest candles and they smell delicious. But that's not all because inside of every candle there's jewelry. I know that's since that's next level, Espa. <laughs> so when you burn the candles after a certain point, you have jewelry. It could be necklaces or rings or earrings. You get to choose your own size. So it's not like, oh, you have this ring, but you can't really use it. So I'm gonna try and burn these for a while to see if I can show you guys the rings that are inside. <laughs> that's so exciting. That's literally so cool. 
So thank you to Charmed Aroma for sending these to me so that I could share it with you guys. Oh my god, that's that's stunning actually. This sloth is my new child. Oh my god, should we call him Arnold? I just feel like he gives me Arnold vibes, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god, yes! Lighting up a candle makes everything extra cozy and extra elegant and you just feel like you're romanticizing your life in a way so i'm a big fan of candles if you couldn't tell <laughs> so i'm really excited for these and i will definitely let you guys know how it goes we have one more package let's see what it is hi hello it's it's books <laughs> it's books Ugh. yes Did I... Holy... Holy crap on a cracker? Excuse me! And should be gong! <laughs> That's excuse me in German. Yes, I'm learning German. Hi. Um, I felt like this was very fitting for me to gift you because Jade City from Jade Melody. Haha, <laughs> not as funny as I want to be. Anyways, hope you enjoy this from Jade Melody! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, <laughs> this is insane. You don't, you, I've wanted Jade City for so flipping long because this is a very hyped fantasy book. And I know that I just came off of reading a very hyped fantasy book that I hated, but I do feel like this, this is giving me like different vibes. This is giving me like 4.5 type of vibes. Oh my god, I can't with Jade. Thank you so much. You've outdone yourself, you've done it again, you've raised the bar, and we love to see it. Thank you so much for sending this to me! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my god. Oh, that smells great. <laughs> I'm not a big book smeller, but sometimes the way that a book smells says a lot about a book. And this one says that it's going to be amazing. And I can't wait. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Jade. I'm going to now paste your little note inside of my book and send you a message because I love you and you deserve to know. <laughs> yes. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Like we have like a little announcements chat and I just announced that I uploaded my 5 a.m. video. I love, I love, I love her. Yes. Like, yes, this is, this is what I'm living for. 
Also, have you seen, oh no, that's not, oh yeah. Have you seen, where? <laughs> have you seen our emojis for the Discord? They're literally, I live for them. It's so sad that I can only use them on Discord because they literally are so perfect for every single chat that I have in my life. Yeah, I can't believe they're only available on my Discord. <laughs> things Pierre Besukov has done. Anybody else getting gay vibes from the characters? Serious. Pierre and Andre, I wasn't the only one. Oh my god, okay nice. Let me do some reading, some rich literature reading <laughs> on Reddit. <laughs> but I just need to know. <laughs> doing i hope you're doing wonderful i hope you've had a lovely week so far whenever you're seeing this and i wanted to do like some updates i did want to flex <laughs> it's not really flexing but i did want to share because i feel like really proud of myself if you saw my 5 a.m video then you know that i i've been reading war and peace by leo tolstoy it's such an intimidating book it's probably the most intimidating book I've ever owned and will ever read. I mean, just holding it is a chore. 
but yesterday when i got back from work i was just like you know what let's try a little bit harder let's sit down properly and try to read a few chapters from chapter four i actually made it to chapter 13. yes thank you i do have to admit that the chapters in this book aren't that big like some chapters are like two pages long which those chapters hit the spot short chapters any day come on i'll take short chapters any day of the week long chapters can go to the drafts folder we don't want them <laughs> but it just feels really good to be in this world and i actually wanted to thank whoever recommended i watch the oversimplified video of the napoleonic wars this book actually takes place during the napoleonic wars and i i had no idea like obviously i know who napoleon is but i didn't know like the whole context and what had gone down after seeing that video i got so much more motivated to pick this up because now i fully understand the historical context that this book was written in and i can better understand some of the comments that the characters are making and also just like the general society and how they're dealing with napoleon's conquering of several european cities and just like how a lot of the aristocrats are suffering because of napoleon because he's putting in danger the life that they are so used to so i i'm not usually like in love with history i'm not like a history lover but after seeing that video and now that i am more in tune with this book i'm like maybe history is going to be a new passion for me i just i found it so interesting and so entertaining so i subscribed to oversimplified because they do a really good job at explaining really complicated and very convoluted historical events i'm currently 55 pages in out of 1400 pages but i feel good because it's not like i'm rushing to read this and i keep switching because my hands get tired like damn okay i would love to finish this book before i die which will hopefully not be soon <laughs> but i'm just taking it day by day see how it goes and i'm loving the process of annotating this the other reading update and i promise i'm almost done don't worry <laughs> but the other reading update is that i recently got this book in the mail and i have read it two times already but i've never annotated it because i don't have like a physical copy that's not super deluxe, super uh, beautiful that I felt comfortable enough to write in, but I finally got another copy. It's the picture of Dorian Gray. Yes, I'm using Jimin as a bookmark, but I started annotating this last night. I mean, I've only read chapter one, <laughs> but listen, there's a lot of things to annotate. I also annotated the introduction that was written by Robert Mighal. Make haul and okay i'm going to do like a little flip through of my annotations because i'm like obsessed literally every single page of chapter one there was something to annotate even the preface that that oscar wilde added to the 1891 version yes i yes i like absolutely love every single second it just there's just something about an heavily annotated there's just something about a heavily annotated book that just hits different. You know what I mean? Like when you look at this, it's like, what does this say? Oh my God. Because it's like, it has like that added value that's just immeasurable, indescribable. Every single annotation is different and unique and like unique to its reader. And it's just so wonderful and i love it i love annotating books and i love sharing them with you guys because i know that i'm not the only one that's super interested in seeing other people's annotations these are my two reading updates so far i am heading out on a trip this weekend so i think i'm going to end this vlog here and start another one specifically for that trip so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading vlog i hope you had fun let me know down below what you're currently reading and how you're doing Let, let's discuss let's share let's you know 
let's connect. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate and love every single one of you. Remember to drink some water, take care of yourselves, and do a little something for you and for others. So I will see you next time. Bye. Hey, Jimmy, you nice. Keep going. Thank you.